Hello everyone, it's Cartoon Mason with Temple Solal in Paradise Valley. Back in the 5th century, there was a Jewish teacher named Rava. And Rava said, when I die and I go to heaven, they're going to have a list for me. They're going to ask six questions to determine if I make it in or not. And then they wrote this in the Talmud, our ancient Jewish book. So let's see what the deal is with these questions. Question 1. Did you conduct business faithfully? At first I thought this question was an odd pick for the first one. Is my conduct in business really my greatest concern? But then I thought it doesn't necessarily have to be commercial business in a workplace per se. It can mean my daily business. And through this understanding, I interpret the first question you're asked in heaven as follows. Did you have integrity? Question two. Did you designate time for Torah study? There we go. That's more like it. Now we're getting Jewish. Question number three. Did you engage in procreation? Yep, the third question is if you tried to have kids. I love you, Mom and Dad. Aww. Question number four. Were you anticipating the redemption? Nobody likes a negative Nancy. Not even in heaven. So a life spent telling people how doomed they are might lose points on question four. Question five. Were you intellectually engaged, pursuing wisdom? Clearly Jews love learning because it's two out of the six of like these questions they ask us in heaven. And finally, question number six. Did you have Yirat Shamayim, awe of heaven? Rabba says something amazing here. He says, nevertheless, beyond all these questions, if the person is in awe before their creator and universe, yes, they are worthy. And if not, no, none of these accomplishments have any value. The touching moments of our lives, the moments we feel deeply and are moved incomprehensibly. I think these moments are the main event. And it seems like heaven agrees. I hope everybody is having a great Elul and is looking forward to a wonderful Rosh Hashanah at Temple Solal. This is Cartoon Mason wishing you Shabbat Shalom.